One of my favorite couples. The Strip Live. Ever. My God, I can't believe the Strip Live's interviewing us. You guys are so yeah, cool. Yeah, I've seen you oh, been everywhere. Sorry. No, this is probably, this, you know, we've had the great honor of, of speaking with you both in the past. Mm -hmm. And so tonight I really want to focus on mental fitness because both of you are gorgeous. And I know, I know physical fitness is important to you. I know that so health. Her, did she pay to say that about me to <laughs> her? physical like, is not good for the mental and emotional, so it all ties together. And she's a good example. She's in her 60s, yeah. looks like she's in her 30s, so yeah. she's a great example of physical fitness. Yes, and, you know, for keeping the Alzheimer's back, there's certain things you can eat and, you know, for health and your fitness, and, you know, it it's all works together. So do you, I mean, in terms of your day-to-day, -day, are you consciously thinking about, what am I putting into my body? What am I putting into I know into my mind? What you know? Who am I surrounding myself with? Yes, yes. and sometimes the surrounding yourself with is year to year. Every six months I do it now. So every six months I do analysis. Who's around my life? What are they doing? Are they, do I like these people or am I there for the wrong reasons? <laughs> no, it's true. Sometimes I'm around people for the wrong reasons, you know. So you know, I'm just it's just not worth it. So I try to about who in my life <laughs> is creating ups and who's really negative or gossiping. Well, you just get them out of my life yeah, in a nice way. You know, I well, love you, but I'll love you from afar. Yeah, and you know? it might be positive for someone else, but maybe in your day and yeah. life, you know, maybe it's just not the right person because you only have so much time. So you kind of just, you know, try to listen to yourself and yeah, you, we love them that. all, but some from afar, some close up. Like, I like you close up. Uh, well, I was going to say, so you're changing like your them. circle. Your circle every six months, you know, you kind of including well, my you husband and I. In, you guys are in. You guys are in. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're huge believers yeah. in, in not only right. surrounding yourself with, with the right people, you're but right. both of you, I mean, I think my husband and I were watching some of um, some of your interviews, mm -hmm. and I think you're both of you are the most positive people. And you really, if you look at your past, mm -hmm. there, I mean, people would say there's no reason why you should be as positive as you are. How important for as we get older yes. to kind of bury the hatchet, you know, be happy in who we are and forget everything. Did you ask the best question, okay? You live longer, you live longer, a scientific fact if you're positive. And stay away from negative people are keeping talking bad about people. The more negative thoughts you have in your own mind, the more your cells will deteriorate and stop producing as much as they normally do. And that adds to old age and sickness. It's been proven if you're positive, and no matter what tragedies you've been through, and I've been through a lot of my life, okay? Yeah. No matter what tragedies or disappointments you're through, to find the positive end. You're still alive. It's like in the land of the blind, all blind people, yeah. the person with one eye is the king. <laughs> so you have two hands, two legs, you know, you're still way ahead of the game, you know? So <laughs> you look at the positive part, I don't care how bad they are, look at the positive part, you're homeless, look at the positive part. I'm broke, I have nowhere to go. Now That's all I gotta do is figure out how to eat, you know? And then I figured out how to eat. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how you do it. Yeah, I wonder how you guys like disagree at home. You seem like the most loving and kind people, and you know, I don't think there would be a negative word that comes out no, of either one of you. I never. There's never a negative word. I mean, I can speak for my husband ever. I mean, if anything, we don't know. We might be coming from a different place or something, so we have to like, you know, oh, I thought it was this way or something. But it's never a negative, you know place. You know, I, I have an answer to you too. What do you yeah. do when something comes over there's supposed to be a fight? And yeah. she gives her opinion. I go, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, you don't do that. And smile. We're mm -hmm. actually <laughs> on the same page. He doesn't even have to do that. <laughs> right? Well, that's so I nice. I'm just playing with I'm just playing with me. I'm just joking. Yeah, we've been together. It'll be 25 years. And then so 27 years. So we're kind of like on the same page. Mm -hmm. Like We flow. We flow. Good. That's the way to go, and um, I wish you know that I could spend every day with both of you because I do. I feel so much more energetic, so much more positive, and you know what? Both of you are such incredible philanthropists. You show up, and not only do you just show up in name, but you are here, present. I, I, I've been very, very blessed, and I found out that that's my motto, success unshared is failure. And part of it is giving, but if it's really that cool, you show up. And that's why I've showed up at some very unusual places. This is one of the nicer <laughs> places I've shown up at. I just came back from the, the hilltops of Brazil a couple of weeks ago where there's a few, shall we say, really uh, impoverished areas there. Just speak to them also, giving them hope. And we even brought my Good Fortune movie there for them to see a guy who was homeless a few times and how he got out of it. Me, obviously. It's, it's, it's my documentary that just released last year. Good Fortune. Look at Good Fortune, the movie. Show it to your children. It shows everybody America still works and coming from nowhere to somewhere it still works. In fact, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, is adopting this film. It's being transferred right now into Portuguese for Brazil. They're gonna show in every high school in uh, the Rio de Janeiro area of about 14 million people. iTunes Amazon, or Amazon. And iTunes, I yeah, think. All yeah, all those people, but it's called Good Fortune, the movie.
I gotta sit down and speak with sure. you on one day, okay? Yeah. So thank you both so Four much. Four bucks, you can rent the movie. <laughs> Four bucks. <laughs> I think for seven, you own it, or something like that. Thank you both okay. so much. Welcome. Have a good night. You're very welcome. And there's the hero of the day, that guy right there. Do you know him, Larry Rubin, who started all this? Oh, of okay, we're, we're gonna watch him there with the stars. And you know what? We know, and his family is really beautiful. Oh, you know his family, we, right? We know them. Oh, we yeah. vacation yes, about Larry them. And we know very well. And Nicole. And we, we, we even went to the Vatican Nicole. together and got blessed of the Vatican. You got blessed of the Vatican? Yeah, Larry arranged it all. We were there last year with Larry and some of these nice people here. <laughs> He's talking so much about you. <laughs> How you doing? I'm talking about you. Well, you're he kissing. is. My wife. <laughs> because she but was it, between you, you and me. Exactly. Because well, she was between you and me. I can't you play, you. but you have good taste too, brother. Good taste. No, I was just chatting about you and how kind and wonderful you are. So, you are. You See you inside. You got pictures. No, I want a picture with you. Thank you.